In July, following a retrial, Dean Kerry, seen here in the waistcoat, was found guilty of the manslaughter of 25-year-old fisherman Jack Power at Shanachiel in Dunmore East County, Waterford. The trial heard that Jack Power believed Dean Kerry, who was 17 at the time, had damaged the wing mirror of his car and in the early hours of the 26th of July 2018, drove to his house to confront him. He smashed the window with a rock and forced his way inside, where Dean Kerry then stabbed him once but claimed he was acting in self-defence and never intended to kill him. Today at Dean Kerry's sentencing hearing, victim impact statements from Jack Power's family were read out, with his mum Loretta saying, Jack was named after my dad who died when I was 15 and now two of the biggest loves of my life have gone. It's not natural for a child to die before a parent. It was the happiest day of my life when he was born and it tortures me how his life ended. I will never forget being told he was dead. It was horrendous. We're living a different life now and it's not one we ever wanted. It's a life sentence. Adding that she could couldn't ask for a better son and it was a privilege to have been his mum. While his dad Richard, who's also a fisherman, said, the family has been shattered and left without direction. At a time when I should be handing over the business, I've been left without purpose and wondering what might have been. Council 4 Dean Kerry, Kieran O'Loughlin, asked Mr Justice Paul McDermott to consider a non-custodial sentence, saying that while this was a tragedy, his client didn't set out to attack Jack Power and the fact that there was only one knife wound should be taken into account. He said that his client was truly remorseful and read out a letter from Dean Kerry in which he acknowledged the anguish and suffering of the Power family, saying that he is so very sorry and is praying that they can forgive him. Mr Justice McDermott said he would take some time to consider the matter and adjourn sentencing until next Wednesday. Nicole Gernon, Virgin Media News at the Central Criminal Court.